I used to be undercover. I did time. I had to deal drugs. I even had to kill. And I was so good at it that... It got me a promotion. Hey! You watch today, Fox. Today, we're continuing my how-to series. We are looking at the Defender Operator today. His name is Bandit, and he's one of my preferred classes to run with. Uh, I do apologize if I sound awful. I have a cold still, so... <laughs> Yeah, apology. But looking at his choices of primaries, we have the MP7 submachine gun, close to boot range, um, and it is, it's got a really good um, mobility to it. It's fire rate and clip capacity, sort of, uh, it's a bit of a pain because it's recoiled a little bit high. I'll talk about it in more depth in a minute. And then we've got the M870 shotgun. Um, I haven't really used it very much, but it is okay. I prefer using the submachine gun personally. And um, we've got the P12 handgun, which is really good. Out of like handguns here, like this is a good pistol. Still. Um, um, I do think that it's pretty nice. It's got mid range. It's a semi auto with low recoil. So if you do need something to finish your enemies off, this pistol will do it for you. And um, between your gadgets, you got the choice of barbed wire or nitro. Personally, I don't see why you would run with anything other than barbed wire on this class. It just is so much more helpful, and I'll explain why in like the later half of this video. But there's no need to run with nitro. Um, it's just completely pointless. I just, I just don't understand why you'd need it. But yeah. So we're going to have a look at the MP7 in more detail. As standard, you know, you have your red dot sights, your holographic, ACOG and reflex. This time I'm rolling with the red dot sight because I think the accuracy on it is pretty um, nice with the red dot. Um, it just feels more relaxed and comfortable with it this way. I don't really think that makes much sense, but I think it's better with a more bare boned sight than having this like complex sight going on because the gun kind of feels really pew pew pew. <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> We've got the flash hider, compensator, and the suppressor as your choices for your barrels here. Um, I've gone with the flash hider because, like I said, this gun does burn through ammo quite a bit. Um, so I feel like this sort of helps you hide down a bit throughout the amount of ammo you go through. I mean, maybe that's just me. But, um, yeah. Um, and then for your choice of under barrels, I've got the laser attachment because I think that the laser attachment is pretty useful for any gun. And looking at the M8070, we've got the um, holographic red dot and the reflex as choices here. I decided to mix it up a little bit and go with the holographic, although I haven't really tried it out. Um, and then I've also gone and attached um, the laser under barrel as usual to all my guns. So there are a few different ways that you can play around with using Bandit's character. It depends what sort of player you are, if you prefer to be more defending inside your base, or if you prefer to lone wolf and go out and about of the base a little bit more that you're defending, or if you like to work with your team or just work for yourself. Um, so I'm going to explain my few different ways, uh, try to as well as I can anyway. Um, so first of all, as you can see, I'm putting down my barbed wire, um, and which with the shocks that you have, you can put down your batteries into those pieces of barbed wire and they will electrify the section. Um, the electrified stuff does kind of notice really much. Um, it is very obvious to the enemy team. A, because there's a sound that's very loud. Nothing else in the game sounds like the shocked wires. Um, and nothing else also gives off the electric blue light quite the similar way. Um, so it's very, very, very clear that bandit stuff is in place where it is. Um, so it's not really a stealthy class for getting tactical kills like the mats are with frost. Um, if you've got a little barbed wire shoved over the top of the mats, it's very easy to hide them. Uh, so that's a very stealthy thing to use to get kills. Cap can, again, isn't exactly the most stealthy because of the little thing that sticks out on the floor. Um, but I would say out of the three, this guy is probably the most obvious because the barbed wire's um, electricity flowing does give off really massive sparks, unfortunately. But ways that you can work with that to make sure that you do get either a few little bits of damage points towards or get those downed kills um, is by putting barbed wire not necessarily in plain sight in front of the corridors that they're trying to enter from because then they're just going to take it down before they try and get through. But possibly put it a little bit further back inside the room possibly off to the side of the doorway so that if they do get down they'll try and crawl away from the doorway so that they don't get killed and someone could possibly res them and that could lead them into being backed up into the barbed wire that's happened to me quite a few times i've managed to get kills that way because the enemies have just you know been stupid tried backing out the way and then backed the wrong way into my barbed wire so it is a possibility to get kills that way um, another thing you can do is use your drone your, use your little battery as bait um, and when I say that, I mean put them in really obvious places, like 
dead down one corridor, dead down the opposite end corridor. So you know when one's been shot down that somebody is coming from that way. It's a good way of letting your team know, okay, one of my drones got shot off by left. I know that they're coming down this way now. Um, so it, it kind of gives you a bit of a heads up so you can prep. Um, which I think is a pretty good thing to do as well. I mean, you don't get any extra points that way, but it does give you that extra awareness, which could save you or your friends' lives. And alternatively, if you want to be a little bit more roomy, um, you could possibly go and hide in a room, put your barbed wire trap down near the room that you're in, like literally right on top of it. When someone either walks into it or shoots it down, run out and run and gun and kill them because they probably would have been a little bit distracted by the fact that they're taking down your drone or they're getting shocked by it. Um, so it's a good way of also being able to get jump kills, I guess. <laughs> if you want to be putting your batteries up against the walls like this, instead of putting them against your um, barbed wire, then perhaps put barbed wire over the top of the mute little things or on top of the mats for frost if she's got them, just to give it a little bit of extra coverage for those. Um, so if you do want to put them against the walls, the way that I choose to use the walls is either if there's one specific room that will not be able to be enterable if you've got those on it, I'll put it there. So then that gives me complete cover from that room. Um, if not, then I like to put it up against walls that I know are particularly popular that people lean against when they're trying to sneak into a building because then that can give you a little bit of extra sense when somebody's coming that way. Um, so it's a bit of a good shout out for you. So as nice as it is to know that Thermite can't actually breach your walls when they're electrified because they get damaged instead, you do have to look out for a really popular combo which is Thatcher with Thermite because what happens a lot is that Thatcher will go and throw in their EMP, disable all your electronics and then Thermite will come in with their breach in charge and just destroy the whole room anyway. Um, so do be careful of that happening, it happens quite often as well. Another thing you need to look out for is Twitch. Uh, it's just not a huge problem, but be aware of the fact that she can come in with her shock drone and take down your battery in one hit. I'm fairly sure it is. So it's not, again, it's not really a massive problem, but it is something that you want to look out for. So watch the doorways and the little small entrances. Um, also, IQ can be a bit of a pain in the arse. She's not, again, a very aggressive, problematic character. But if you are against an enemy team, um, that's all on mic and stuff, chances are they're probably going to be able to be giving the shout outs. Oh, there's shock wires here and here and here, so, you know, yeah. If you want to be stealthy, not going to happen. <laughs> As for people to work with, I would suggest mute because you can get a double coverage of blockage for drones if you're putting your shocked wires on barbed wire on the floor. Just make sure you don't put it over the top of mute's ones because uh, it electrifies them both and it will destroy their drone. Um, also, you could work with Frost and hide their mats. But anyway, that's a think. But until next time, bye!